Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Bible Journaling. I'm Bonnie Krebs with another tutorial on how to create these beautiful watercolors in your Bible. So this week we're going to uh, create these beautiful corners uh, in your Bible. You can do this on any page, even if you just have a small board, a uh, small margin, you can still create a beautiful corner like this. So we're going to uh, just need a few things. So in our basic sets, our basic flower and foliage set, we're just gonna use this little bud right here and our filler flower, so just these two. And then in the foliage set, the vine, and this little branch right here. So only four stamps, that's all it takes, and actually only three markers. So it's really quick and easy and just so fun to do. You could do one, you could do four, uh, change out the colors and get a totally different look. So uh, they don't always have to be complex and time consuming. You do these simple borders uh, really, really quickly. So let's get started. So I have prepped my page on both sides, uh, both both pages of, of my Bible and both sides of the page so that I won't have any bleed through or puckering. So I'm ready to get stamping. So we're gonna start out with that little, um, the little branch and we're just gonna ink that with the brown. So this is a 969 brown and I'm just gonna ink it a couple of times. So just one, two, and then I'm gonna ink it again and stamp it down below just a few more in here just like that. So just like an L, backwards L, and uh, then we'll go on from here. So now I'm gonna ink the vine. And I don't need all of it, so I'm just inking about half. And I'm using, this green I'm using is the number 228. And I'm just kinda adding uh, as much as I want in here. So you can create this little corner as large as you want. Uh, just by how much you stamp this little vine in. Uh, I also like that it doesn't uh, cover the text, so I'm always careful about that. I always want to be sure that I can see the text. And you're just going to put as much in here as you want. Okay, and you can see we haven't added any water yet. We're just going to keep going and we're going to add, add water at the end. So I moved on to my little flower and I'm using number 636. And I'm just inking a couple of these. So this is actually a pretty large stamp. It has five blooms on it, and we're only inking the two on the right. But we're going in a circular motion. So we're just gonna kind of stamp that in a circle. Put a small little one out there, and maybe another one down here. And that's all we have to do. Okay, so now we're gonna dip our brush in water, pinch it off, and now we're gonna start adding the water. So I'm gonna start with the green leaves, and you can see that it's sort of pulling this brown color out uh, from the branches. I really like that look. So that's totally up to you. You can stamp those branches in a green and have a totally different look. So it's really fun to experiment uh, with different colors, different greens. You can change this up to fall colors so easily and this kind of a thing you can put uh, with any scripture so anywhere in your bible and i think it would be really fun to just uh, take this little border and just maybe do an entire book with this border i think that would be so cool and it's also uh, very relaxing because it's so easy and by the time you've done four of them you know in the corners you're pretty good at it so you'll be so confident to just keep going and uh, do the rest of your Bible. So now I've moved on to the purple. And you can see it's it's pulling this green or this uh, brown out. So it's kind of changing the color up a little bit. I love that. Uh, be sure to leave those white spaces in here. So just kind of resist the urge to just color everything in solid. Uh, you can, however, just keep pulling that color out. So don't be afraid to do that. It just kind of creates a really nice, um, almost like a whimsical background, very soft. And I think that's what makes it look more like it's a watercolor is when you have that background. So now we're gonna go on to this little bud and we're gonna use two colors on it. So the little blooms, the little buds, uh, we're gonna use the purple and then of course the vine, the green. And this is more of an accent, so we're just gonna stamp it in here a couple of times. So just like that. 
and let's ink it up again. And we'll get these little blooms here and a little bit more. So you can uh, just keep going if you want to add more of this. You certainly can. So maybe one here and maybe one here. How about one there? And never add any water to the stems on those. That's kind of the rule with any long stem is that we never add water to the stem, only to the little bloom. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we are finished with our first corner. So let's go on and repeat this. I'll show you one more time in this corner. And I always think it's easier to turn my Bible. Um, it just seems to be easier that way so that I can... I can do the corner the same way. So let's do this again. I'm going to ink up my stem and just kind of mirror the other one. And then up the side, just like this. You can add as much of that in as you want to. And you'll just, you'll just get in a groove with this. It's so easy and so fun. And every one of these is different. You know, you can do this border a hundred times and every time it's gonna look different. I love that about it. Okay, that looks good. So let's go on and add our flowers to it. So again, we're just coloring uh, just a few and we're stamping in a circle. So just keep going in a circle about five times. And get that color in there, perfect. So now we're gonna add water, start with our green and just blend the color. It will just do its thing. So fun. Uh, be sure to prep your page though. You can do this, actually you can do this in your Bible without prepping your page, but you will have a lot of puckering and you may have some bleed through, but um, some people don't mind that. And if you don't mind, you certainly can do this uh, without the ground, the watercolor ground. But if you want to prep your page first, uh, go back and check out the video on how to prep your page for this technique. And there is step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. And I just do a bunch of pages at a time, uh, just so that I'm ready to add my watercolor to it when I have time. Okay, that looks good. So we're ready to add our little buds and we are going to be finished with this corner. There's the purple and the green. And let's go back and do that again. Just a few over there. And remember, no color on the stem, no water on the stem. Just on the little bud. Okay, and we are finished with this project. You can see how beautiful that is. Uh, that turned out great. And you can continue on and do the rest of your Bible. Try it with different colors um, and try it with different flowers. It's so, it's so fun to do. And you know, the more that you do it, the better at it you're gonna get. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back again with more videos on watercolor Bible journaling. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you next time.